Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about Pixel Edit as a useful tool for Unity 2D game development, or really game development for any 2D game in any engine, as long as you're going to be doing pixel art, uh, which, as you may have guessed from the name, Pixel Edit, is all about what this program's actually about. So whenever we go up to File New and start up a new document, it's going to ask us how many tiles do we want uh, per row, and then how many rows do we want, tiles wide and tiles high, essentially. Then we can specify the size of each tile. So if you have done any uh, pixel art animation, then you know that each tile or each frame needs to be exactly the same size across all of your characters and animations. Um, so we can just go ahead and create that here. And what's useful about Pixel Edit over, let's say, uh, more mainstream tools like Photoshop or GIMP um, is that the tool set is very simplified and that all of the tools are designed specifically to work best for Pixel Art uh, character design and animation. So, for instance, we have the ellipse tool over here, and normally that's supposed to draw a circle, right? But if you're talking about Pixel Art, uh, there are so few pixels that it's actually pretty hard to get an exact circle. So uh, what Pixel, Art, uh, Pixel Edit does is it will approximate that uh, circle or ellipse to the right size. So basically just by dragging there and bringing it over here, we have what looks as close to a circle as you can get in 32 pixels by 32 pixels. So uh, one tool I really like here is the Tile Placer tool. So if we right click a tile, we can put that in any of the other tiles. And this is one thing that like you wouldn't have in Photoshop, the ability to just separate everything into these different tiles. And with the transformation thing up on top, we can uh, rotate it. Okay, well, it's not gonna be that easy to see because this is a perfect circle. So let me actually use the pencil tool and draw a little bit here. We'll just kind of give it a little bit of a difference there. So we right click and we move, move it over here. So we can rotate it up there. Uh, alternatively, you could just hit R on the keyboard as an alternative. You can manually change the rotation uh, and you can flip it across the X or Y axis. So if we flip that, it goes from uh, top to bottom and likewise left to right. Of course, since these sides are equal, left to right isn't gonna do anything. Um, and when you actually wanna take these different frames and combine them into an animation, all you would need to do is go down here, animations, add a new animation in. You can give it whatever you want. I don't know, rotate all. For instance, specify the number of frames. So here we have five frames. And you can see the beginning and end of this animation. Beginning is this blue border, and the end is this uh, kind of brownish gold border. And uh, you can also set, or, okay, you used to be able to set anyway the frame time. Maybe that's that down there. But we can play the animation and see what it's like in practice. So over there on the right, probably want to slow that down a bit. Probably want to make it, um, maybe we have 45 degree angles here rather than uh, 90 degrees. But that would be like a frame, frame preview of what it would look like in actual practice. So of course, with any good, um, basically photo editing program or pixel editing program, you're gonna want layers um, simply so that the changes you make, you can separate them onto different layers so that when you want to change something, it's not going to destructively make it so you have to change everything all at once. Um, so for instance, if we drew a couple eyes here or something like that, and I know this is not the best pixel art in the world, um, and we want to copy that over to a different frame, and maybe we want to rotate it, we can rotate that change without messing with the other changes which is really useful if you've ever used Photoshop again, you know exactly why layers are awesome, so it's good that they have it here. So what I'm trying to illustrate in this video is just that Pixel Edit is a easy to use tool that's very specific for pixel art animation. So if you want something that's easy to pick up, um, maybe you're not already a Photoshop genius or anything like that, and you just want something that's gonna kind of work out of the box specifically for this purpose of doing uh, pixel art animation, pixel art characters, pixel art backgrounds, and that kind of thing, then uh, Pixel Edit is actually a pretty cool tool. So just wanted to introduce that to you guys. Uh, I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.